Hello, I'm John Fain. I'm here in the offices of Gordon Legal with two of the partners who have looked after the RoboDebt class action. Peter Gordon from Gordon Legal and James Norton. Good morning to you both. Good morning, okay. John. Explain to us how this case started, Peter. What's it about? Why are we here? It's a claim for people who have had money taken off them by the Commonwealth Government who previously received a range of Centrelink benefits. And they had the money taken off them because the Commonwealth Government used an income averaging scheme using data that they collected from the tax office. It was a yearly averaging of data from the tax office, but applied to people who, uh, in the overwhelming majority of cases, receive benefits for a period within that 12 months. So the averaging was not accurate. How do you measure how much they might be worth? Well, it's a good question um, and it's something that will, will need to be worked out either between us and the Commonwealth or by the court eventually. And I think one of the things that really struck us is when we announced the class action investigation, thousands of people started calling this firm, telling us their stories about their experience. And given so many people who are involved, it's a real mix of experiences, but some of the stories are horrible. People have been really detrimentally affected by this system. Some people have taken their own lives. That, that is the case. Um, also, people, Not entirely because of rope, I yeah. it needs to be said, but it was the last straw syndrome. It was and like, well, like, certainly the family members of those people attribute in a major way yeah. those deaths to the robo-debt system. You also have people who had to make very difficult choices about paying back a debt or paying their mortgage or paying their bills, keeping the power on, and those sorts of financial choices that have really impacted people. One other issue that's important here is that the Attorney General, Christian Porter, who's been sent to clean up this mess, uh, he said on television the other day he didn't want to apologise because it was a, a legal complication. While there's mediation and the court proceedings are on foot, it would go against them. So is, that, is there solid legal foundation for his reluctance to apologise? I wanted to say something about this because he actually said that um, he wa the government wasn't in a position to apologise because of the litigation. We actually think it's really important to the people that, that we act for, the people whose stories we've, we've held and that everyone's seen, that there be an apology. We're prepared as the lawyers acting for the applicants and the group members in the, in the class action to make this undertaking uh, to the court and to, and to the federal government. If you will give a proper and genuine apology, we won't use the fact of that apology in court. It won't have any negative effect. It won't affect the litigation in any way. We won't seek to rely upon it. I make that undertaking on behalf of the uh, applicants and the group members because we actually believe it's really, really important to the people who've suffered so much through this to hear the government say, not just that it's taking some step because it's being forced by the imminent trial date in the class action to make some financial measure, but that it's actually sorry, that it's actually contrite, that it recognises that it's done the wrong thing and wants to atone. So I hope that there'll be a positive response to that offer. As an example of the law being sometimes a blunt instrument, but in this case an effective one to hold power to account when everything else didn't succeed, congratulations to you. And if there are people who are wondering exactly where you stand, Gordon Legal would be very happy to receive your questions, your inquiries, and hopefully sometime down the track we'll be able to give you more information as events continue to unfold in this remarkable class action over robo-debt.